I don't know, man. And why are you even clicking on a video with such a stupid title? First of all, there's nobody who can predict the future, not even experts, or in some cases, especially not experts. Second of all, why worry? There's no point in worrying because we have no idea what's going to happen. The only thing that's clear is that large language models or, you know, things like ChatGPT, AI, image recognition, all that sort of stuff is probably the biggest technology innovation since the internet. It might even be as big as what your crypto bros told you crypto is going to be. The point is, yes, it might be that this will eradicate whole industries. Please be financed. Come on. Come on, please be financed. Ah, good enough. On the other hand, though, who in 1999 would have predicted that somebody with the title of data evangelist will be paid six figures? Honestly, that's still kind of surprising today, but my point, <laughs> my point is mainly new jobs will be created. Maybe whole new industries will be created. There was no search engine optimization before Google. That happened after, right? So the same way large language models are already creating a whole industry of people trying to teach you how to learn prompts or how to learn to write prompts. In that vein, the best thing we can do is just try to learn and adapt it, right? Try building things with AI. Try to learn how to best use it. Try to learn which AI makes the most sense for which use case. Maybe in the future, nobody will be programming in the languages that we know today, right? Maybe in the future, there's another layer on top, which will just be the AI connecting us to the machine, meaning we're probably going to just code in plain English. And then what would that mean? Do your engineering skills translate well to this new way of programming? Is programming going to be a little bit different in the sense that maybe today we see ourselves more as craftsmen, tomorrow software engineers will be more considered like artists, more about creativity, more about um, imagining innovational uh, solutions for the future, right? All of those things we just wouldn't know yet. The best way, again, is to just start now learning how to use AI and come up with our own best solutions. Another thing that I'm really interested in seeing as well is how do humans in the future learn? What kind of things do they even still learn, right? You could, for example, argue that there will be a time in the future where all mental tasks will be better done by AI, right? So, for example, people who now today sit down to learn how to be an author why would they put like five to 10 years into that craft until they reach a point where they're doing something that is good enough for, um, for a human, but an AI can produce in a few seconds, right? What happens to art, right? When the best art, <coughs> or can the best art actually be created by AI? <coughs> so there are a lot of things that can go right or wrong with the invention of advanced AI. One thing that I personally hope for is that if we can get, as society, a lot more productive through the usage of AI in knowledge-based jobs like software engineering or other, um, other kinds of jobs, then maybe we can just spend a bit more time outside of work, first of all, and maybe also give more appreciation form of payment and maybe better working conditions for really system-critical jobs like in general healthcare, um, teachers, firemen, all of those kind of jobs that probably never will be able to be automated using AI. For now though, like I said before, nobody knows what will happen. The world is far too complex to predict whether AI will be something that we look back on as a good invention or as a bad invention for humanity.